Hi, Pastor Bob here in our circulation lobby downstairs by the foundation of the church. And this Sunday, as my dad used to say, we're going to have a big shindig. It is one of our foundational days in the Lutheran Church. It's Reformation Sunday. Wear red. Celebrate Reformation. We mark that day when Martin Luther kicked off the Reformation of the Church by posting his 95 theses. Be careful with that word. Theses, T-H. Theological statements about the abuse of repentance in the church. Posted them on the chapel door at Castle Church in Wittenberg, Germany on the 31st of October, 1517. Now, as much that we could say about all of that, uh, well, why this day? You know, it's close to All Saints Day. All Saints Day was a day when the relics of the saints were displayed in Wittenberg, and Luther saw in that a, an abuse of the sacrament of penance and uh, people going to see those relics and then having their sins forgiven because they did something or having their dead relatives' sins forgiven because they did something. Well, that's one thing. Well, and we could talk about how Luther, little monk Luther, really didn't know what he was getting into going up against a triumvirate juggernaut of his time. Church, state, the Fugger family, the bankers of Berlin, Germany, this, this unholy triangle that, that controlled everything in that place and time. And here's little Luther pounding his theses into the door, theses, T-H, and uh, sets off a whole conflagration. Okay, well, we could talk about that. But I think better use of our time this Sunday would be to ask the question for us now, very applicable, why Lutheran? Why now? What difference does being a Lutheran make? And in these days of, of shrinking influence of faith, what does the Lutheran voice have to say to the world? Well, one little word, like, uh, like that uh, word in A Mighty Fortress, one little word shall fell him, we, say, we will sing in the, when we sing the Lutheran National Anthem, right? One little word, grace. It's a word that historically has carried a lot of weight in this church. Uh, indeed, one of my former bishops over the other side of the Cascades, he has a license plate, personalized plate on his car. It says, Grace X3. Grace, grace, grace. He always used that as an answer to most every question. What's it all about? Grace, grace, grace. Well, I think we had to follow that with another Lutheran word. What does this mean? <laughs> what exactly is God's grace anyway? I think some people think of that phrase of Luther's, the other phrase of Luther's, sin boldly. I think there's even a beer out called Sin Boldly. Uh, when they think of God's grace, they think of that word. Uh, that's not what Luther said simply about grace. He said, be a sinner and sin boldly, but believe and rejoice in Christ even more boldly. Well, what that means is don't hold back on life. Don't hold back on living life to and for the sake of our neighbor. Don't be afraid you'll mess up in doing that because you will. I will. We all will. That's what being in bondage to sin is all about. So go forth and live a, a fully human life with all of its successes and yes, all of its failures. Knowing that in Jesus there is repentance and renewal and forgiveness and freedom. Well, I want to hear more about this grace business. And so we shall this Sunday, this Reformation Sunday at Emmanuel Lutheran. 8.30 at Augustana, 10 o'clock at Emmanuel. We will bid farewell and Godspeed to Stephanie, our choir director, at the end of 10 a.m. worship. And then we'll take part in our annual Oktoberfest celebration. You may hear some of the sounds of that preparation going on even now as I'm visiting with you. So I'm looking forward to worshiping and partying with you this Sunday. Yabol! So come and worship and enjoy and wear red for Reformation. <laughs>